149 plus miles per hour is fast, but wind, the enemy of all race drivers, buffets the straightaways in dangerous gusts. Barnelli Jones takes his turn. Fastest man on the track in practice. He braves the wind and turns 151.153 miles per hour. It's a new qualifying record and evidence that the traditional Indianapolis race car will be hard to beat. But Don Branson, one of racing's greatest qualifiers, produces second best time of the day with 150.188 miles per hour. him onto the track is Jim Herdebees in the famous Novi supercharged V8. Proven the most powerful cars at the Speedway, the Novi's have thrilled the fans for many years, but bad luck has plagued them. Now, Jim Herdebees breaks the spell with a qualification speed of 150.257 miles per hour. Turner is not seriously injured, but it's the third time in as many years his car has been airborne. From his hospital bed, he prudently announces his retirement from racing. 1961 winner, A.J. Foyt, breaks into the exclusive 150 mile an hour club. Bobby Unser delights his pit crew by topping 149 miles per hour. And the second Novi is in the field. Unser, many time winner of the Pikes Peak Hill Climb, proves that a mountain boy can drive this fast track too. The third Novi is on the track. It's hot rotted into the field by drag strip star Art Malone at more than 148 miles per hour. 